Are you sure about this? Yes. We have lost our sample dress, so... Rui Clothing, here's your dress. <gasps> Annie! <sighs> that was so close! Return to its rightful owner. On behalf of the Rui store, I appreciate your help. Miss Ani, you must get ready. Yes. I can't believe it! This dress, made by Cao Store, exhibits the grandeur of the Great Tang Dynasty! It is in all its glory! However, the champion has yet been determined, because we have one more contestant! The famous Ruyi Clothing Store! Let's welcome the manager of Ruyi Clothing Store to show their sample. That guy was a fraud. All those people were sellers, but he walked straight into you. It was obvious that he had a trick up his sleeve because you're such an easy target. Hmm. Thank you. think too much of it. I need to remind you that we are still enemies. Of course. You owe me a great deal. I won't forget. I'll take today's act as a small portion of the interest. and patrons of the Rui Clothing Store. Greetings, all. The 
simple dress was designed by our team. Oh. It mimics the appearance of the peony and has been dyed to show a gradual change of color. The design is creative and the process was complicated. Mm -hmm. We wish to express the liveliness and exotic beauty of Tartar women. While an ingenious design, it's not suitable for formal events, the same way our dress is. She's right. She's right. What are you doing? That the Ru Yi clothing store made the dress look like a flower. Very innovative indeed. However, wait. <laughs> The Tsao's dress is indeed gorgeous, and it would be much more suitable for the gentle and austere Tong woman. While Tartars are vivacious, enjoying dance and festivities, this dress was designed by Rui Store just for Tartar women. What a wily fox. Whether or not the dress is beautiful, I think that everyone here can speak for themselves. Well said, Madam Tao. It looks like Madam Tao and I had the same train of thought. Since the dress is made for Tartars, whether or not it's beautiful should be determined when it's worn by a Tartar girl. I was born and brought up in Tong, but I have some Tartar blood in me. Now, nice. I'd like to offer any Tartars who are also fond of Tong clothes to try this dress on. Great! <laughs> nice! We're in for a treat.
what do you think of this? I like that one. Yeah. It goes with my shoes. You look great. be flooded by orders from the Tartar. We love to take on any extra work. Thanks for offering. We're all doing business in the West Market and we're neighbors, so. either? <laughs> Whenever I think about how angry and upset Miss Cao and Shan Hu were today at the clothing fair, I can't help but feel giddy. <laughs> That's their revenge. Serves them right. They won't be able to cheat people with the name of Master An anymore. That's right. <laughs> Liu Li, your dress was a big success today, and our store will soon be too. Why do you look so preoccupied? I was just thinking, I might be wrong about Pei Xingjian. Hmm. I agree. He doesn't seem bad. <sighs> but even if he isn't, he might be one toward me if I get on his bad side. What's become of Senior Sun and Shunza? What a good man. I find it astonishing that he'd abandon you. I'm sorry for you. Shunzi. I heard that your master cut off ties with you. You're on your own. I should leave you too. A person waiting to die in the discipline service. You are Water. lucky, though. You still Water. have some value. Water. Tell me, where on earth is Doza hiding? Who is he? Why is he so skilled at embroidering? Now, if you tell me, I'll ask Pan Hai to pardon you. You'd be free to go. Well... This may be your very last chance. If you don't tell me, you'll be a goner. You'll surely regret it. Water, water. The physician dump was left. What did you say? Let me go. Master Jewel, let me go. I don't want to die. Water, 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 water. <laughs> Oh. 
What did you just say? Physician Do is gone. He ran away already. He's out of the palace. Where did he go to? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is he's left the palace. Go on! Why did he leave the palace? How did he escape? All I know is he wanted to leave. If he isn't here, your guess is as good as mine. I suppose he must have slipped away. That's all I know. He's gone. You little brat! You two grew up together. Who are his parents? Where did he learn to tailor? Don't tell me you don't know these things! He was found orphaned outside the palace by her master. He didn't know who his parents were. How could I know? As for tailoring, he's completely self-taught. Yes, now I remember. He told me he once discovered a secret book of an imperial concubine. He read through it, then he burned it. He told me all these things, but I didn't see with my own eyes. Are you telling the truth? Yes, I am. I don't want to die. Everything I've said is true. Please help me, Master Joa. <laughs> If what you say is true, then I'll let you out of this palace. Don't you worry. Hurry up. Be careful. Hurry. Easy now. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's a deadly bold move. Prince Tao is shipping cargo without anyone's knowledge. What is he hiding in those scrolls? Why is he going through all this trouble? Shh. There he is. <sighs> Greetings, Prince Al. I hope you're well. Did you have a smooth trip? Uh, we did run into some problems, but I sorted them out. Nothing to worry about. Rest assured, Your Grace. Let's go. Come here. Your Grace. Look. <laughs> 
Smuggling armor would be deemed as treason. Is he planning a rebellion? The Crown Prince wants reform, and Prince Tao objects. Not long ago, the Crown Prince fought for it, and submitted a detailed plan for implementing the reform, and it worked. An edict was dispatched to support the Crown Prince's proposal. Is it possible that Prince Tao holds a grudge? So he's stockpiling some armor in his mansion. To stage a coup? That doesn't make any sense. The examination is important, but that alone wouldn't be the motive for such a bold act like this. There's no sense in guessing. We have no idea what's going on in his head. Anyway, we've seen with our eyes that he's stockpiling armor and planning a coup. This is all true. Prince Cao is a shrewd man, with many allies. Many members of the court are in the palm of his hand. If he decides to plot treason, the whole kingdom will be in danger. But what could he do with a few chests of armor? No. There's more cargo. What? More crates are set to arrive in Chang'an from Pujo. That means that he'll have more armor delivered secretly to his mansion. Pei, we must report this to the Court of Judicial Review. Let's not make any hasty decisions. The Crown Prince's reform has affected the interests of many nobles, most of whom have turned to Prince Hao. They become his eyes and his ears. But you and I are only pawns. Even if we make a report, there's a chance it might be intercepted. It's too risky. That is all true. But since we know the plot, if we feign ignorance, we wouldn't be doing our job. We must expose the truth. But first we need to find someone reliable to pass the information. Hey, why not ask General Su Dingfang to do it? He's traveling right now, and we'll be back for some time. Besides, I wouldn't want to risk his life if we fail to stop Prince Cao. I can't do that. <sighs> the Crown Prince. Crown Prince? It must be him. It's Prince Cao who is trying to usurp the crown. And this must be disclosed to his majesty. This is the safest option we have. Oh, I should have thought of that. But it's not easy to see him, considering our status and rank. Well then, we shall act separately. You go back to Pujo and do your duty. Oversee the scrolls and keep an eye on Prince Cao. I think I'll report about the matter to the Crown Prince. Deal. That Dozer is more cunning than we thought. He managed to flee the palace. My lady, what are your plans? I'm obviously going to report his escape to the eunuch house. And he'll be tracked down and arrested. Although Dozer has served as a physician, in times of an epidemic, for so many years of his life. But a doctor is replaceable. If I report to the Imperial Health Institute, it would only be considered a minor matter. However, the eunuch house was responsible for his transfer. I have Deputy Chief Pan Chin Hai in my pocket. It's time to call in a favor from him. That's odd. He'd rather run away than work in the wardrobe service. There must be something that we've missed. Sun Deja must know where he is. Jin Yang, go to the body disposal division and find Wei Lin. Ask him to keep a close eye on Sun Deja. This time, I must succeed in getting to the bottom of things. Yes.
And this, I'll take all my honorable guests. Have them sent to my house. Welcome. (laughs) Feel free to take a look. We have more inside. Welcome, ladies. Are you the shopkeeper? I believe that we are relatives. And you are... Ku Di Yanzhong is my elder brother. That would make us family. But ever since my sister-in-law left, we've seldom met up. I've come here before, and it's always Ani who helps me. So you're Mrs. Ku Di of the Commandant's Mansion. Please excuse me. I have come here today to talk to your shop's in-house artist, my sister Cui Yunyang and others have the greatest praise for her. So I'd like to ask her to make some clothes for me. Your lady must be speaking of you are. (laughs) She's highly skilled at painting, but unfortunately she left our store and I have no idea where she went. Uh, I thought she was new here and she was doing so well. Why would she leave like this? Way. Homemade spirits, fine spirits, come closer. Homemade spirits, fine spirits, come closer. Oh. Wait, Unyang. Did you see that Hold on. There were reasons Shanhu wasn't married into the Pei family, but we're still close relatives. It really hurts me to see you walk into their store instead of ours. Hmm. Rui is a celebrated clothing store who just won at the trade fair. Why shouldn't I buy from them? As for our relation, An Yang was the wife of my elder brother, so the Rui clothing store is more closely related to me. I just want to help make some clothes for you to express my respect. Perhaps I spoke too hastily. What kind of clothes do you like, Wenyang? You can come inside and tell me. You've been running Tsao's for so many years under the name of the Best Weaver. But you lost to Ani of the Rui clothing store at the trade fair. Now, no noble families would order clothes from you. (laughs) That Ani? It's just a maid. She's a nobody. She only won because of that tramp. What are you referring to? The in-house artist they have at Rui? (sighs) Well, since you look down on our store so much, I won't force you. Uh, Hey! (sighs) Why didn't she refuse to say more about that new artist at the clothing store? Well, Anselam also grew anxious when he mentioned her. I've heard that the Rui clothing store won the competition with the help of a young female artist. Right. I met her at the old Anne residence. She was with the manager, Ani. Yes, she was dressed like a tartar. I thought she was a relative of the Anne's. <sighs> Didn't Anselam say that the artist is gone now? Why does she live in Anne's house? And she's a tartar? Could she be? (gasps) No! That's impossible! There's no way. Neoli died 11 years ago. What's wrong, my lady? (gasps) I was thinking who that artist woman could possibly be for her identity to remain so mysterious. I need to go to the old house and look into it. Wait for me here. Next. Your pass. Here. 
I, I must have lost it somewhere. I've made this trip so often, surely you've seen me before. Please let me pass, and I'll go find the director for a new one. No pass, no entry. That's the rule. Next. But, sir... We must have a pass to enter the Imperial Palace. It's not easy to get one. What should we do to get it? Go on. Next. It's him. The cousin of Yuar. Isn't he dead? Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you know if Annie, the manager of the Rui clothing store, lives here? Hmm? Huh? That's her right there. Uh, Annie! I thought you were going to the store. What are you doing there? You need to hide. Your aunt's here. My aunt? Why would she be here? Where should I hide? It's such a small house. I'd better go outside. No, there's no time. Honey, huh? please open the door. I just saw you. I know you're home. Annie, Miss Annie. Miss Annie, please open the door. We'd have to open for her. Go find a place to hide. I'll get rid of her. Okay. Please open the door! Miss Annie! Miss Annie! Annie! Oh, it's you, Mrs. Cootie. What brings you here today? If you'd like to have a word, let's go inside. The ladies from the Commandant's Mansion highly praised your artist's work, and I'd like to order some clothes from you. I just went to the store, but you weren't there. I've heard that you and the artist both live in this house, so that's why I am here. You must mean you are, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. You come a little too late. She has quit and left. Oh? That you artist was doing so great, was highly praised, and helped you win the competition. <gasps> Why would she leave so abruptly? I have trouble believing you let her go. The art is extremely outgoing and leads a nomadic life. She's now ready to settle down. We cherish her, but we had no choice. If this is true, I just want to ask you, was she by any chance related to the aunts? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> Of course she is now related. She was hired by our shopkeeper, simply on a whim. Then it's a little bit unusual that the Anne family would let her live here. I wonder if she's hiding a big secret. So you had to hide her away, keep her out of sight. And perhaps I happen to know her as well. Your lady. Miss Annie, it's not a big deal. If her ladyship was so curious about me, please let her come in. It won't matter. <gasps> My lady! My lady! <gasps> Miss Annie, could you please introduce us? Her lady here is Mrs. Cootie, an honored guest of our shop. And you are? I'm a purchaser from the wardrobe service. I've come here to make a purchase from the famous Rui clothing store. The interests of many parties are involved, and this purchase must be done with a low profile. That's why I had told Miss Ani not to let anyone else know we'd like to keep this subtle. There are so many people visiting the store, and the Taos are also waiting there. Annie had to lead him here, to our old house to visit. But, when I was on my way to the store to deliver some samples, I ran into your ladyship. 
It's not like I was trying to avoid you. It's just that this matter is highly confidential. And considering your lady's relationship with its house, I had to be cautious about informing you so as to not confuse you. Please forgive me. <sighs> no, I'm at a loss for what to do. I'm terribly sorry I'm disturbing your business. Miss Ani, you have an important client, and I have duties of my own. I must be on my way now. I'll come another day to continue our talk. Apologies for my negligence. Farewell. It was I who barged in. I beg your pardon. That's a good price. Position off. Huh? Oh. Make way. Oh. Hey, what do you think huh? of this horse? And how about this one? Uh, horses. Yes. They're rare breeds from the West. <gasps> what kind are you looking for? Why are you squatting next to its legs? In order to see if it can run fast, I have to check its legs. Some people check the teeth, the eyes, the coat, but none of that matters. It's not. A beauty contest. <gasps> Out of the way, please. I've never seen someone buy a horse like that. There are lots of things you've never seen. That's true. This is the first time I've seen a dead man rise from the grave. <gasps> Hey, where are you going? Let me go! What's wrong with you? Stop! Leave me! If you move, I'll smack you. Let's go. Hey. Huh. <clears throat> Welcome, come inside. Excuse me, do you have a private room? We sure do, it's on the second floor. Hey, waiter, take these gentlemen upstairs. This way, please. Waiter. We have some wine over here. Uh, don't try anything funny. Hurry up. Hey, uh, can we have another bottle here? Come, Come have a look. Take a look at my cakes. They taste even better than they smell. Come on, welcome, welcome. Very I'll very give you good prices. Of course. How much would you like? Of course. I'll give you a good price. Please enjoy. Thank you. Hey. 
I'm telling you now, I'm not into men. I just realized how much you're like your cousin, the painter. You even have the same horrendous manners. Fortunately, I recognized you with my sharp eyes at a first glance. Otherwise, I would have had to face your litigation. Sharp eyes? I think you're blind. What? What was that? Mm. Fine. Tell me why you're playing dead. Because you are, know you're still alive? I may have found your pouch, though I never did open it. However, your cousin insisted that I hid the things that were inside it. It seems she won't give up until she gets in the back. In that case, I think you two are colluding and trying to swindle an honest man. <gasps> like you've misunderstood i worked at the body disposal division i just wanted to be free that's why i escaped in a coffin i wanted to see my cousin again i didn't expect that that coffin would break open in haste i somehow managed to lose my pouch inside that pouch was all the money i owned as well as my family heirlooms you are saw you carrying the pouch and went to summon to claim it but we were shocked to find out that it had been replaced. We don't know anyone else who has touched it except for you. So the only possibility is that you stole the contents. We just wanted to get them back. But then... But what? But when you saw us, you didn't run away. Instead, you followed us. So we thought that's not something a thief would normally do. So it's crossed my mind that maybe we have wrongly accused you. Now that you explain it, you seem like a sensible man. <clears throat> I would not wrong an honest person. Since I don't have any proof against you, I'll ask you are to withdraw the lawsuit until we get more information. <sighs> Thank you for your understanding. See you around. <laughs> Wait. So that's it? We're done? <clears throat> I've explained everything, and I agree to withdraw the litigation. What else do you want? I'm sorry. I've changed my mind. I don't care about the litigation. It doesn't matter, but I need to ask a favor of you as compensation for my trouble. I was a servant who fled the palace. What can I do for you? I need to borrow your gate pass. My gate pass? <laughs> 